Hi Taurus, welcome to this reading. I hope you're well. Um, I saw this, it was either when I just split the deck or as I was shuffling, perhaps it even got caught on camera, but um, here it is again, Five of Swords. This is a big energy then for how they're feeling this week whenever you are finding this reading. So very much in their head, possibly feeling like something has happened and it maybe gave them a win in terms of their ego, but really they feel like they've lost. So let's say there was a falling out. They've been giving you the silent treatment. Um, maybe they feel that they've won in the sense that, I don't know, they've held back, but they've really lost because actually they want to talk to you. Um, and also, of course, if you're giving someone the silent treatment, it's not really a healthy response anyway. So they're kind of losing out in that way, in that they have an opportunity to perhaps heal something within themselves or make a change and react to a situation differently. Um, five. Five is a number of a transformation, a change. So yeah, something could be changing within this person. They're feeling a bit stressed, a bit conflicted, wanting to communicate but not doing it or communicating but not about the thing, the thing excuse me, that's on their mind. Knight of Wands reversed, so this could be about taking action towards you. Let's see. What else, please? Thoughts and feelings. Four of Pentacles reversed. Let's take this one. Wow. And the Seven of Wands reversed. Gosh, this is a very clear message. Um, this is about someone, you know, this is going to resonate with you if the person you're dealing with is defensive or has been defensive in any kind of a way around being authentic with you. Um, answering a question you've asked or owning up to some kind of feelings or having some kind of conversation, um, if they've been defensive, if they've been um, projecting onto you drama from previous relationships, previous situations, because in this Seven of Wands, this person is completely stressed out, they're at their maximum limit, they've got two different shoes on, you know, they don't even know if there's an actual threat or not, but they're on the defensive. So. This could be someone that when you first encountered them, however recently or long ago that was, they were already in this position of being um, battered and bruised in some way. And maybe there was a lot of projecting onto you, you know, oh, I know what um, relationships bring. I know how this is going to go. And you were thinking, wow, this is not you giving me a fair chance here. Um, so I think they're reflecting on this and feeling like, you know, they want to drop this defensiveness if they have actually bl actually blocked you in terms of, you know, tangible communication, like on a phone or something, they want to unblock you. Maybe they even already have. But yeah, unblocking their heart space, opening up, wrestling with themselves around, should I communicate? Um, I think they might be battling their ego as well. And it's like with this five and this change, they're on the precipice of making um, a good, healthy decision to show up differently when there is conflict or when they are challenged um, to have more healthy responses um, that are more respectful of themselves and other people. Um, OK, eight of pentacles. So this could be someone who is doing a lot of thinking about you at work. Yeah, I did just get the 10 of coins reversed there. So maybe they're even a bit distracted from work or whatever they're working on. King of Cups flipping over um, while they're thinking about you. What's, can you hear that? Maybe it's too quiet for the microphone. Something is making like, um, sounds like a bell. Okay, <clears throat> Ten of Wands, they're hiding, they're hiding their passion or their desire to take some action. Okay, Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Death in Reverse, Scorpio energy there. So far the only major arcana we have. See how they're on the verge of this transformation. This is someone who misses you. They feel that a distance from you, whether it's geographical distance, distance because you're not speaking, distance because you're seeing each other and speaking, but not about the things that, you know, really you're both wanting to talk about. But um, feeling like they're ready to end this cycle of separation or distance. But um, Three of Wands is kind of passive in some way, like it's very active in terms of the energy, what's going on internally, but it's not us going out there and doing things, making things happen in a way that's visible to anyone else. It's, it's lots of activity in terms of um, our inner world and drawing things towards us. Okay, thoughts and feelings. Yeah, seven of coins reversed. So for some of you, there could have been a long period of time where nothing has happened here. This could even be that your person is feeling like they've missed an opportunity here. Um, wow, the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy there. They've been very stubborn, um, prideful. This could be someone who in the past has been quick to anger. What I'm, what I'm getting though is 
Paired with this defensiveness of the Seven of Wands, this doesn't feel like an anger necessarily where this person will flare up and you can visibly see the anger, like they might start shouting or something like that. This feels like someone who might be quick to anger, but when they're very angry, they just shut down completely. They may block you, they may stop speaking. It's like um, this internal simmering. And actually, I remember it's either hearing or reading something, because it's interesting, we've got Scorpio here and Aries, about how um, the energy of Scorpio and Aries, they experience this kind of uh, or can experience a kind of like almost like a rage to a point of destruction but it's you know they, they experience it equally but it's expressed very differently so the Scorpio energy is more like I'm holding it within and I'm, I'm kind of um, no one would know necessarily to look at me whereas the Aries energy is like everyone's gonna know that I'm angry right now so I don't know maybe maybe you know you don't have to be a Scorpio and an Aries but it could be that both of you have experienced similar levels of anger frustration rage even in this situation but you, you both express it very differently but really what I'm feeling is this is someone who when they're triggered into any kind of extreme emotion they shut down and you, you can't get anything from them it's like banging on the door for an hour straight and they will not open it um, but I feel like with the Emperor in reverse it's because there's been fear underneath. Um, the Emperor reversed, as I say, from a distance, we're like, wow, that person's got it together, they're in control, they, they're wise, all of that unfazed, but reversed, it's a projection of maybe a wish or an image this person's putting out there that they want to be seen. It's not how they truly feel. Um, okay, let me have a bit of a look at the Seven of Coins. So feeling like perhaps they missed the boat. We've got um, a Hierophant, so Taurus energy. So I wonder if there's a, a bit of um, a complication here around, say, a third party situation that surrounds this connection, or maybe it's like a four party situation. If both of you have other things going on, it could be um, the influence of work, um, any kind of institution that might feel like it's interfering or in the way here. Um, or maybe there's something that, as far as your person has been concerned, especially in the past, there is something around this connection that feels unconventional or non-traditional and that freaked them out. Um, especially if they're used to doing things in traditional ways or conforming to whatever the tradition is around them, whether that's because they really align with that or because it's just they never questioned it, you know? Um, so fear around, gosh, this seems a bit different. I don't really even know what this would look like if it was to move forward and I don't want the negative attention I'll get for this. That could have been a reason they held back longer than they would otherwise have held back or held themselves back from you when ordinarily they would have just gone for it. Um, also, you know, this feeling of, gosh, I really missed the boat. I really missed out on, on this opportunity. If they see you moving forward with someone else, maybe you were already in a situation and you've stepped into a high level of commitment or they wonder if you have, or if you were single when you met and now you're in a relationship. Um, so this could be a past energy that slowed them down or it's something they're now seeing that is blocking them, whether it's on your side or their side. Let's have a look at this emperor um, reversed. Okay, what's going on here? The Chariot, Cancer. I feel like this is someone who in the past, they were living for people around them. They may not really have known who they were internally, but objectively, it looks like they've got a very sure sense of self. They know exactly where they're going because I think this is someone with the Age of Pentacles who invests. They put in the time, they put in the effort. So, you know the chariot can some you know the chariot energy is very focused can move very quickly isn't and isn't easily distracted so this is someone who maybe has achieved a lot in the realm of studying or career so objectively we're thinking this person really knows where they're going and they're very focused um it could be in the realm of home family um maybe this is someone who did the whole you know meet someone moving get married have kids very quickly or quite young or something like that and you know it seems like that's really their focus so we're thinking well they knew that's exactly what they wanted but the truth is this person has been moving with focus along a path that they never really had conviction in because it's just them copying what they're seeing going on around them 
I also feel this is someone, you know, looking at the Three of Wands, I'm looking at the Chariot, and, and this guy here has got the Magician's Wand, and he's taking action to, you know, like inspired action, co-creation, all of that. I feel like this is someone who, whether they realise it or not, they are very capable in terms of manifesting, of co-creating. They're um, very driven. Um, I feel that when they are focused on something, it's hard to distract them from it. So if an obstacle comes up, they'll figure it out, move around it and keep going. But it's almost like they've been channeling this ability into the wrong direction. And when I say wrong, I mean from their own subjective perspective you know they're starting to realize okay this hasn't been right for me but i've really been putting all my effort into whatever this is whether it's the career the family you know um yeah okay so no wonder we started with a five lots of this internal reflection big need for change in fact i'm seeing three fives with the hierophant five of pentacles five of Swords. So 555 is coming out. That also, if you want to look that number up, could have additional messages. But that's what's going on in their thoughts and feelings. So interestingly, you know, my intention was how do they think and feel about you and this connection. A lot of what's coming up is how they feel about and see themselves and how they feel about this connection. Um, so yeah, really reflecting here. Okay, so let's have a look at their intentions around what's next intentions around action and likely next action well i'm finding it hard to shuffle up the cards so they could be feeling a bit blocked in terms of taking action can you share with us the intentions and the intentions towards action please that my viewers person has Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, again, a focus on the self. But I don't think this is a bad thing. I don't think this is selfish. I feel like this is your person really saying, okay, let me look at um, how I've been showing up, the life I've been building. Am I being honest with myself? Am I being authentic? What do I need to do to become this whole, healthy, complete person? Um, seven of Pentacles reversed. Four of Cups. So they've made a commitment to themselves that if they ever feel something is right for them, no matter how it looks objectively, no matter what people might think, um, if they feel it's right to take some inspired action, that's what they're going to do. So I will just say, I do see that this connection and the experiences um, that your person's had here with you, they have and are and will continue to have a huge impact on you know your person here their life overall and just yeah their, their life overall it's not just limited to their experience here with you so they do understand this has been very profound and through meeting you and through this connection they are noticing things about themselves that they wouldn't have noticed before and and they're able being able to self-improve. So I do feel like there's an appreciation and a gratitude for that alone, you know, as in just on that level alone, it's like, wow, this has been a great thing in my life. Yes, it's been challenging, but now I can really step into my power. So there is gratitude for that. Um, okay, so Four of Cups, Ace of Swords. I think what I'm trying to say is that even if you and this person were to never speak again, and that's not necessarily what I'm seeing here, but just saying, when they think of you, they will think of you as a turning point in a very positive way. Um, so if, you, if you're feeling like you've met, you know, this hasn't meant anything to a person, or it hasn't touched them in any way um, because of what they're showing or rather not showing, that's not true. You've had a big impact and there is a lot of appreciation for that. Okay, we have the Hermit reversed, Virgo energy. Um, okay, one of the things I see, your person's intentions here, it seems to me that they're, they're not saying, right, I'm going to pick up my phone and contact you this immediate moment. It's almost them saying, I'm going to continue to do whatever I need to do to be the best version of myself before I reach out. So there's something they're working on. It could be confidence. You know, if we go right back to that Five of Swords, it could be 
um, healing, trying to figure out better coping mechanisms, better ways of communicating. They could be working on um, learning something. Um, did I say finances? I think I might have. Um, whatever it is, you know, health, whether it's emotional, mental, physical, whatever. Um, but they want to be someone who is ready for a serious commitment, a relationship. You know, they're going from the nine into the 10. So their intentions here with you is something very tangible, very long term. Okay. I think there's a bit of hesitation and some nerves around how do I reach out? It has been a while. For many of you, I think it's been a good while. We could even be talking about, you know, months or years here. A page of cups, small message is not going to cut it. At least that's what they think. They can't just out of the blue text you and say, hi, how are you? You know, after however long. Um, so that's something they are thinking about while they're doing this, um, you know, work on themselves. I'm hearing final touches. So they may feel they've made lots of improvements already. We've got the King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So it's like they want you to know they're full of fire and passion for you. And it's not that they're holding back on action because they're not inspired, they're very inspired. And they do see this cup that's here in front of them and they want to take it, but they're not going to rush. They're not going to, they don't want to mess this up. They don't want to do, I'm hearing they don't want to do anything wrong. So, you know, that's how maybe they're thinking of this. I don't want to do anything wrong here. I want to do it right. Um, because look, nine of coins, ace of coins, if we add them together, 10 of coins. This is someone who, when they come forward next, it's like the final time, the, the big offer, whatever that big offer is. Um, so they want to make sure it's right. Okay, let's have a look. Ace of swords, ace of pentacles reversed. Strength, Leo, Two of Swords reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. So they feel like you are their Two of Cups, soul, connection, person, you're the one for them. And um, it's actually taking a lot of self-restraint, I think, for them to not just rush this forward. Um, I do think they're watching you. I think there's a lot of focus on you. Um, this could be someone who from a distance gets quite jealous when other people speak with you or if they see you interacting with people or suspect there is someone else um, or other people trying to get your attention. Um, I still think this person has got an ego, um, but I think it's more balanced. It, it's healthier now. In the past, it was... Um, they were easily triggered, you know, bit prideful, um, they lacked confidence, but rejected their ego out onto people. So people thought they were confident, but they weren't, they're insecure. I think they've done a lot of healing, a lot of work on themselves, but I think this person will continue to be quite, uh, all the words I can think of feel like they have negative connotations, but no, this is someone who, they might feel that they're good looking or they might know they get attention or um, they want to be admired. I think that's it. This is someone who wants their partner to look at them. And obviously they've got you in mind here. <laughs> so they want you to look at them and be like, wow, yeah, I'm finding you irresistible. Um, and they want you to feel impressed by them, but they want it to be, they want to do things and to show up in a way with this nine of coins that they know it's genuine like you're not just throwing compliments at them because you know it boosts their ego like you're genuinely feeling inside like wow i'm really impressed with what you're doing right now or what i'm seeing here so they're willing to work to earn the admiration and attraction from you if you see what i mean so it's not just this empty pride of i expect you to fancy me and think i'm really great it's like i'm doing all this hard work on myself and you know i hope that you will see that and naturally be inspired to feel these things towards me um this is <laughs> oh, this feels like a person who they're not going to be okay with you ever mentioning oh so and so's looking good today you know even if it's in a very neutral casual observation kind of way no they don't want to hear that they don't want to yeah they're not going to be okay with that they don't want you to notice anyone else 
around like say you're going i don't know out for dinner or something with them they want you to be inspired to only notice them so i don't know how realistic you feel that is or not um but just so you know as a side note um this is someone who takes themselves quite seriously in terms of how they look um and like i said their partner being interested in only them this is someone who won't take it so well if you make a joke about fancying someone else or something like that they, they won't like that um maybe someone as well who perhaps in the bedroom they're not inclined towards joking and laughing you know they might almost feel like that's an insult or a bit wounding it's, it's like it's got to be very serious you've got to be awed by them you know um, i don't know why all this is coming through but you know perhaps just a side note um yeah okay so anyway back to their intentions and actions intentions complete working on themselves i'm seeing you know if you're waiting for something to load i don't think this happens anymore but maybe it's like a bit old school but like there's a bar and you've got the green line you know as we're seeing the percentage go up um, i'm seeing that so they have some kind of marker perhaps in their head of, of what it will be like when they get to 100 percent maybe it's i'll be living here i'll be earning this much i will feel confident embracing this new kind of personality i'm putting out there or something like that but they will know when they're at 100 percent i feel i'm hearing something about 70 so maybe they feel like they're about 70 percent of the way through um maybe it's they've got to break away from some kind of existing foundation or connection you know and that will be the last 30 percent or something but anyway complete working on themselves and then come forward with this big offer um and sort of try like one big final time um and their their intention here is that you will naturally end up moving into a commitment um that will last for the rest of your lives this is not someone whose intention is oh i think we'll hang out a few times and sleep together and have a laugh and that will be it that's that's not even on their mind to be honest um even if this is someone you've not really maybe the connection's been going on for a long time maybe you've been dealing with one another for a long time but maybe you've not even spent that much time together or you wouldn't even necessarily say you've been on a first date even despite all of that this person's intention is still the long term so there must be details that have happened in the background that have allowed for this connection to deepen or strengthen or i don't know something but either way yeah their intention is not well we'll just get to know each other they feel in some way you do know each other very well um okay so let's see what their messages are then oh i know what that noise is hold on i think it's yeah it's definitely that okay so what would this person like to say to my viewer please detachment look at this i had to let this go so i could clear my mind yes and they have been clearing their mind reflecting on how they've been showing up um holding themselves accountable unfinished business we still have things to resolve and discuss neglected see holding themselves accountable i failed to give you what you need and this isn't saying that they feel that you know you did everything perfectly and flawlessly um it's almost this reading is them saying that's not where that's not where my focus has been my focus has been on me <laughs> you know how have i shown up um yeah okay self-love yes i'm still trying to heal exactly focus on self um if you would like to book a reading a personal reading the link to find out more is in the description box we have irreplaceable the way you love can never be matched yeah so if you were feeling like why has this detachment happened why are they pushing me away why have we been in separation for so long it's not actually about you because you weren't doing enough or they couldn't see that you were trying to love them or anything like that it was them they needed to detach and they've gone on this whole journey of self-love here hope i haven't given up on us yet many
We have responsibilities. I have to take care of my financial and emotional needs. Yep. Yeah, so maybe, you know, like I said, they're at 70 percent working towards that 100 percent. This is interesting how it's come out um, with that Hierophant card underneath. So, yeah, could be other, you know, it could be that work connection or situation that's making it difficult, some sort of institution, the party situations, you know, whatever that is, that's something they're having to figure out. Um, and then habits. I don't know if we will ever change. Hmm. Okay. It's on the back. Escape. I left when things got hard. Yeah. Thing is, though, I feel, again, I feel the message that they left before things got hard between the both of you. So you might be feeling that they left very early on or, you know, things weren't hard. But remember when you met this person, even if they weren't showing it emotionally, they were at maximum capacity. They'd already been through a lot in one way or another. Um, which wasn't really fair on you for them to push you away because of that but i don't think they were able to clearly communicate why they needed time or space or to detach i've never stopped loving you i never will i miss you so much my heart aches i don't know what i'd do without you in my life please don't go date anyone else you see this person does have a jealous streak and like i said they don't want to hear about anyone else ever <laughs> so definitely don't do the whole um you know make them jealous thing play hard to get um yeah that that's not going to work on this person they're just going to get really angry but then that you know it's that kind of reaction where they get angry and shut down um I know I seem to be taking my time, but I'm evolving faster than you think. Yeah, and I actually do see that. Um, I know if I continue to ignore you, I could lose you. Um, you'll hear from me within a relatively short time. I think of you, I want you just as much as you want me, trust me. Do you have any other messages from this deck, please? Yes. I have some overbearing and controlling people in my life. I'm afraid will try to control you too. So I'm working on good boundaries and gaining respect before bringing you into this dynamic. Okay. Hmm. So final messages before we move into some guidance and advice. Um, is it possible to forgive and forget? Your beauty still moves me. So yeah, for some of you, this is someone who is definitely still keeping an eye on you. They maybe have saved photos or anything like that they have of you and they're still looking at them. Um, or it could be some memory they have um, and they you know, think back and, and still can feel how affected they were by how you are and how you look physically. Um, because I, I don't know, I mean, obviously beauty, you know, it's not just physical, but um, for some reason there is something i think this is quite a passionate person i'll just say that and they definitely notice how you look and they do like that like it's an understatement <laughs> but yeah they, they are attracted to you physically as well okay you inspire me yes on many levels and as i said if nothing was to ever move forward here which definitely is not their intention but just to say if it didn't if nothing else came of this ever they would still think of you as this you know catalyst for change and inspiration and feel gratitude about that we have i will make things right between us one day yeah so their intention is not to leave things as they are and we did have that card of unfinished business um it's really hard for me to open up it was in the past i feel is it possible to forgive and forget um, I wish I could take back the things I said. Wow, for some of you, they may even have said that they don't find you attractive or you're not their type or something like that. Um, very mean is what I feel because it, it lacked truth completely and maybe they were just cross or something or felt that you weren't finding them attractive so they tried to get in there first. The thing is, if you're not their usual type, in their mind, you blow their usual type out of the water, whatever that type is, you know? It's, it's like, you're not my usual type because normally... I don't know. I settle for people I don't really find attractive, but I find you incredibly attractive. And um, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to, <laughs> I don't really want to get into the morality side or morals around 
making judgments of people's aesthetics, you know, whatever, let's not get into that. But just in their opinion, maybe this is someone who feels like they date down in terms of how people look to keep themselves feeling safe or, or whatever. Anyway, let's not get into that. Right, karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. You're the only person who truly gets me. Wow, oh, okay. So um, let's get some guidance and advice. I think I'm just going to get two cards here, not to overcomplicate things, and just, you know, guidance and advice for you at the moment that you're watching this and maybe the week ahead. start with the archangel messages okay, let's see. oh wow relationship harmony we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved arguments and conflicts are being resolved now mm, amazing okay good so it feels like you know the guidance there would be you can relax and be hands off here because there's divine um intervention that's moving this into a more healed space okay guidance and advice for my viewers please within this connection is that the spider card because i was just about to say i'm feeling suddenly quite uh like gassy <laughs> like i want to keep burping you know it's like the kind of a feeling of, and this sounds gross but like bringing something up so i don't know if there's some guidance around writing something down if you feel like you need to get something off your chest or, or verbalize something um yeah spider trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten so this could be literally writing stories it could be doing writing some non-fiction um, or creating something that's not with words maybe it's images or something but yeah definitely expressing something during this time where you feel like maybe you're having to be quite um strategic or wait you know spiders create a web and just literally have to wait um but but not it's not a passive waiting because they're you know aware of vibrations aren't they if something lands in the web and then they have to act very quickly so being alert to what's going on being aware of the changes that are happening whether they are something you can see or feel you know vibration we're talking about here but in the meantime finding a channel through which you can express this um this energy or these emotions or these thoughts so yeah it could be could be writing could be drawing could be building something i don't know but but doing something creative in the meantime but it's almost like a message of you can be hands off there's nothing you need to do but spirit is not asking you to just try and forget about this that would be an unreasonable request you know spirits acknowledging we know you're going to be watching and waiting and being observant and that's great you know be vigilant to what you're picking up on seeing hearing all of that but give yourself a channel to express in the meantime you know while you're having to do this almost active waiting here um yeah okay so i will leave this here so thank you so much for watching i hope this resonated i hope it helped and i will see you soon bye